Hi everyone, it's Erin from the Herrick District Library here to share a fun song with you. I've got to be honest, I'd never heard this song before. Ah, oh, I didn't know it. I didn't know it at all. I read it for the first time on the March Early Literacy Calendar. So I'm going to learn it right along with you because I don't know it very well either. For this one, we need to use our imaginations. That means we're going to pretend. And for this song, we're going to pretend that we're a frog. Oh, do you know what a frog looks like? I have one with me. A little frog like that has a five on it. A frog has big back legs because it leaps, right? And kind of short legs, but it uses those to swim. So we're going to pretend that we're frogs and we're going to pretend that we're sitting on a shore. The word shore might be a new word for you. It means the edge of some water. So it's like the edge of a river or a creek or a pond or even the lake. It's just before we get in the water. In this song, we have five little frogs and they're going to jump into the water until we only have zero frogs left. So I need you to crouch down on the floor, or maybe if it's safe enough, on the edge of something you can jump off of, like a short stool or something like that. We're going to crouch down and pretend that we're frogs. What is it that frogs say when frogs talk? Ribbit, right? Ribbit. Can you do some ribbits with me to make sure that we're getting in the right mindset to be frogs? Ribbit. Ribbit. Great job. So here we go. I want you to crouch down, pretend you're a frog, and we're going to sing our song. Five little froggies sat on the shore. One went for a swim. Jump up. And then there were four. Pretend you're swimming. Now go back and crouch back down again to be the next frog. Four little froggies looked out to sea. One went swimming, jump off. And then there were three. Do your swimming, do your frog swimming. Okay, go back, crouch down again. Three little froggies said, what can we do? One jumped in the water and then there were two. Do your swimming after you jumped. Do some swimming. Two little froggies sat in the sun. One swam off, jump and swim. And then there was one. One little froggy said, this is no fun. He dived in the water, jump, and then there were none. Good job, friends. How about we do that one again? Only this time, you can keep acting it out if you want. But Miss Erin is going to bring out her frog friends. Oh, do you see those numbers? Cross the top. One, two, three, four, and five. Can you show me your fives on your hands? Just like that, right? Five fingers, five frogs. So we're gonna sing it again. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Only this time our frogs are gonna jump off. They're on a log, but we're gonna pretend that this log is on the shore, okay? Here we go. Five little froggies sat on the shore one went for a swim, and then there were one, two, three, four. Four little froggies look out to sea. One went swimming, and then there were one, two, three. Three little froggies said, what can we do? One jumped in the water and then there were one, two, 
Two little froggies sat in the sun. One swam off and then there was one. One little froggy said, this is no fun. He dived in the water and then there were none. Great job, friends. I hope you had fun with that one. Grownups, it's really, really fun to act out some songs. And this is a great one to do that with. If we're in a safe place and we can leap off some furniture, even though we might not be supposed to do that, it can be a fun thing to do. Jump into some a big thing of pillows and then climb back up again. It's also a great way to get out some energy on some of those days when we can't get outside. Hope you enjoyed that one. We'll see you next time.